Hi Larry, this is a wonderful opportunity for me to tell you once again how much I appreciate all the work that you have done for me as the Dean of CTE and also more recently the work that you and your class have done to help with mapping out the new future spaces of some of our projects like the Career Services Project and the Innovation Center. Um, just want to tell you I appreciate the way you approach that, the fact that you involved your students and that you were uh, utilizing the skills and applying the learning that was going on in your classroom to work that we, we needed to have done, so thank you. I also want to thank you for all the great donuts that you brought us over the years. They were fantastic and they kept the team going, so thank you very much and best wishes to you up at Big Bear, wherever you're working on the next cabin or the next project or with your boys, um, with your wife. We hope all goes well. Thanks. Nanette Brody was to experience the joy of being moved, both physically, but most importantly, emotionally. Nanette, thank you for enriching the lives of thousands of students during the past 42 years at Golden West College, and for helping all of us discover our capacity to feel. Congratulations on finally making it to LA. We love you and you'll always be the life of the party. Hey lady, made it to Hollywood. We miss you. We miss all the laughter in the office. Good luck! Good luck. Congratulations on your retirement. I know that you're going to be missed very much in the college success courses. You made such an impact, Maria, that every time I run into one of your students, they speak just so highly of you. How dedicated you are, how well prepared you are, and how you always are open and available to your students. So congratulations, Maria. Come and visit us. Take care. Hey Maria, I've been thinking about what I could say as you're getting ready for retirement and the thing that popped to my mind was the very first semester I was here because for those that don't know, Maria was teaching online, entirely online for very unusual reasons and at the same time I kept thinking I might not run into her very much because she wouldn't be on campus. And that same semester I bumped her into her on the way to get food because she was having a meeting with the psychology club and she'd been out there all afternoon. I bumped, at her, bumped into her at two different committees in my first week of school and every time I saw her she was ready to go with tons of energy and could tell me exactly how she felt about things that were happening on the campus. And I, I'm going to miss that because you are one of the unique people who can always just, I can always know that you're going to tell me exactly how you think and exactly how you feel and know that it's coming right from your heart. And I really hope that whatever you're going to end up doing away from Golden West, that you'll always feel connected to us because I know that I'm always going to feel a sense of connection to you because of everything that you've done here. So thank you again and I wish you all the best. Hey Maria, it's your favorite uh, accounting buddy. Just stopping by to say congratulations uh, on your retirement. Um, we've known each other for what, 10 years now? Uh, even though I left for Coastline and I came back, it was like I never left. Um, I am going to miss your hugs. I'm gonna miss your stories about your son. Um, all the geeky, nerdy uh, talks about Marvel and DC and who's better than who. Um, go get that Mai Tai. Go and lay on a beach, enjoy your retirement. I love you so much, I'm gonna miss you, enjoy. Tom, this is uh, an opportunity for me to tell you how much I appreciated all the things that you brought to the table while we got a chance to work together, all the conversations we had about environmental sustainability. 
I think, though, I want you to remember that you and I met years ago when we first started working on environmental sustainability initiatives in the county, and um, I always was struck by your, your service, your service for the, the Energy Commission, and when you brought that work to the county, too. Um, lots of wonderful ideas, your projects at home, your projects with your church, your projects with the community, working with people who are, really needed your help and looking at new jobs, new careers. So I wish you all the best. I will kind of keep my eyes over in Orange on the other side of the county of Fullerton, maybe even get a chance to drop down and see you and your wife sometime. But many thanks for all the years of service and best wishes on all your project and continued service to not just the county, but to all these other people beyond the United States that you're, you're really working with. So thank you. Hi Jackie, I just want to say thank you for your leadership, thank you for your mentorship, but most of all thank you for your friendship. We're going to miss you. Hi Jackie, we miss you and we love you so much. We hope you're enjoying Texas. Good luck with everything and most of all always remember that we appreciate you and you'll always be the heart of our program. Stella Madrigal embodies one of the qualities of great teaching. She was one of the most enthusiastic and passionate instructors I have ever seen. She was alive with energy for her students and her subject matter. When Stella walked in the classroom, she lit it up like a light bulb. What a dynamo. greatly appreciative of all you've done as an educator to build a greater awareness and sensitivity to the importance of intercultural communication. Your energy for this program has been immeasurable and your commitment has been generously given. But most of all, Sandy, I don't know of anyone who's taught with a more open and loving heart than you have. I want to thank you, Sandy, for demonstrating to our students and all of us the power of love, the courage to forgive, and the strength to move forward. Thank you, Sandy. So, Sandy, we are so going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. The college is going to miss you. The department is going to miss you. The students are going to miss you, but all any of us want is for you to have a wonderful, wonderful retirement and to do all the things you've been wanting to do. So, via con Dios, have a wonderful trip wherever it is you decide to go, because I know travel's in your future. Have a wonderful retirement. Hi, on behalf of the Golden West Athletic Department and the entire college, I'd like to thank Susie Brasney for all of her service to Golden West. There's probably been nobody on the history of the college that's had a more wide variety of roles and association with the college than Susie. Susie grew up across the street and spent countless hours playing on the field hockey and softball fields as well as in the gym. She also learned to swim in our pool. Susie served a wide variety of roles here, starting as an assistant softball coach, faculty member, and then became an adjunct faculty member and head softball coach, as well as an instructional associate, as well as the women's equipment manager. No matter what role she had, she always did it with a smile and gave it her best. 
We will totally miss Susie in her retirement and wish her well with her activities of continuing coaching and umpiring, as well as playing pickleball and camping. We miss you, Susie. Good luck, Susie. Have a great retirement. We'll miss you. Congratulations, Susie. We're going to miss your smiling face around campus. Susie, we wish you the absolute best and enjoy retirement and look forward to seeing you on the softball field. Bye, Susie. Bye. Bye. Hi, Joan. We're here to wish you a happy retirement. We've missed you in the stockroom since you retired at the end of December. One of the things that I'd like to thank you for was your mentoring of our student assistants. In addition to recruiting and training them to help uh, with prepping all the labs, you really supported them in their academic life and their personal life and helped them to choose schools to transfer to and write letters of recommendation for scholarships and graduate programs. And if those students could be here today, I think that there would be quite a lot of them that would be really thankful for the support that you gave them while they were at Golden West College. Joan, I miss you. And not just because of the snacks that you used to have in the stock room. I'm not able to come to the breakfast, but I hope you'll stop by. No snacks necessary. <laughs> but if you want to bring some, feel free. Hi, Joan. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for welcoming me as a new faculty, even though I had no idea where anything was or how anything worked. You were always there supporting me and not making me feel stupid about it. So thank you for that. When I think of Joan, <clears throat> I think of the endless patience she showed, especially in helping get everything ready for our big signature event in the fall science showtime, particularly the gallons and gallons of polyvinyl alcohol needed to make slime, which was a very popular event. And uh, it was tedious and time consuming, and she taught the student assistants how to do it and made sure it was all ready. And you'd think every fall, since she did this for eight years, that toward the end we'd at least have a sigh or an eye roll, but she was always patient and just went ahead and prepped that as well as anything else that needed to be done. And that was so appreciated. Without that stockroom support for everything we do, it would have been uh, disastrous. So happy retirement, Joan. Happy retirement. Happy, happy retirement. retirement. I just want to say thank you to Joan. Uh, Joan has been instrumental, and especially when it came time to uh, working with the geology program. Rebecca Nelson contributed a whole mineral collection and money to our program, and I think in part because of Joan's uh, rapport that was immediately set when she met Ms. Nelson. We went to her house to look at his mineral collection. She donated a huge mineral collection to us. Her and Joan almost became instant friends, and they're still friends to this day. And then Mrs. Nelson was able to contribute money. So we were able to take rocks like this that kind of have a dull surface. We can then take, cut that rock and polish it due to equipment. And uh, when I came time to order this equipment, Joan helped me out with the ordering. She met with the uh, person who delivered the equipment made sure everything was set up right. So Joan has been an instrumental part in geology. I think she's really helped our program grow. And geology is awesome. And people like Joan make it even more awesome. So we can take minerals like this, we can slice them, which really aids in students' uh, ability to understand how rocks are formed. The collection that um, Rebecca Nelson gave us have lots of obsidian, uh, petrified wood, What's nice about this particular wood sample, it actually shows the old remains of the bark of the exterior of the wood and then the interior has been replaced by this jasper. And so geology's awesome, uh, Joan's awesome, and I thank Joan for everything that she did for this campus. Thank you. Ruben started at Golden West College in September 1976, working as a custodian in the maintenance and operations department and became a custodian senior in July of 2009. Ruben has always worked swing shift for the college, which has required that he work alone for hours before the graveyard crew comes in to give him a hand. He has always made himself available to staff and in particular public safety and evening operations to help with emergencies and the many random items that come up daily in the custodial trade. 
His 40 years at the college have enabled him to see many changes and much progression for the school he has always cared about, been very loyal to, and where he and his co-workers carry out the huge task of cleaning and maintaining a very large facility. In his retirement, Ruben plans to spend time with his family and continue his work with the OC Fair and their security department. We wish him all the best in retirement and life. This is Pat Skaplin's GW Seniors. For the past 10 years at the Student Health Center, Pat will be the first person you see as you enter. Working at the front desk since February of 1997, helping out students and GWC staff and admin. In April 2012, she was recognized for all of her hard efforts, being selected Employee of the Month for all the years of her work. She was also a full-time student while working as a full-time employee, representing both sides of education and employment at GWC. As well as serving on the Planning and Budget Committee, she loved to be productive and as busy as she could be including being a mom and grandma to her loving family and decorating cakes for special occasions and ocean cruising. Since retiring in May 2016, she's enjoying her life to the fullest, spending time with family and friends and doing what she loves best. She's definitely missed when we walk through the clinic door. Best wishes on your retirement, Pat, and enjoy life and much more. Pedro A. Tafoya, better known as Pete, started at Golden West College on July 19, 1983 as a groundskeeper 2 in the Maintenance and Operations Department at Golden West College and became a groundskeeper 3 December 11, 1989. Pete's expertise in irrigation repair, installation, and maintenance has been a valuable asset for the college, especially in these times of drought and water conservation. Pete has extensive knowledge in the grounds trades and has spent his time over the last 33 years caring for many different areas on campus, sometimes being called in on weekends or evenings to handle and repair a broken water line, a geyser, or other grounds related issues. In his retirement, Pete plans to enjoy not having to make the 100 mile round trip commute from Riverside every day, which he has done for 27 years. He was also looking forward to spending time with his family and is excited to pass on his skill at fishing to his granddaughters. He and his family love Disneyland and plan to spend time at the Magic Kingdom as often as possible. We wish him all the best and a very happy retirement. Hi, John! John Wordies, we could not have done it without you. You've been here th longer than all of us. You, re you got things started, you then recorded things, kept track of things, and then towards the end of these, getting closer to the 50th year, really at the 40th year, you did a magnificent job in terms of that art display of 40 years, and 50 was knocked it out of the park. It was incredible. In fact, it was so big we had to do two, and a part A and a part B. And, and the, the interesting thing is that whenever anything happens on this campus and somebody says, well, do you remember what happened with X or Y or Z? We, you were the go-to person. And the thing was, you did remember. And most of the time, not only did you remember, but you had a picture, a photo, uh, some kind of drawing, some kind of article that was in the Western Sun or, or some plaque place or place we could go on campus and look for and find those kinds of things. You are an art historian extraordinaire and we're so appreciative of your work you've done at, not only with us but also at events. I mean I, I can't think of an event that you haven't been at that the foundation's been sponsoring. So it's whether it's the gala or whether it's scholarships night or whether it's actual graduation, you have been the pace keeper they put people in the right order. Uh, you've been a supreme advisor, and we just want to say one thing. Thank, Thank you, John! John!